Hello, welcome to Crafting with Elena. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rock picture frame holder. So this is what the finished product will look like, something like that. Um, and if you saw the, a craft class um, last spring time with rock painting, this is very similar to that. We are just adding some wire around the rock and um, twisting it up and then twirling the ends to make it into a picture frame holder. So if you haven't heard already of Rossmore Rocks, it's a group uh, Facebook page. Um, it was founded by Diane Moore, a Rossmore resident. Um, excuse me, Diane Morte. And she um, had this idea after um, seeing it while visiting her sister in Oregon. And it's basically um, anyone who wants to join, uh, you, all you do is paint rocks and um, you hide it Rossmore or really anywhere. And you put on the, the back of the rock, um, Rossmore rocks, uh, the exclamation mark on Facebook. Um, so you can post a picture of rocks you find and when you find a rock you can rehide it for others to enjoy or keep it um, but it's really fun to um, hide them around for other people to find or to rehide them. I have noticed a lot more painted rocks throughout Rossmore and um, I think it's so such a joy to see them throughout Rossmore. Um, it really um, you know, lifts my spirits, and I hope that others of you have seen the rocks around Rossmore and enjoy them as well. So please don't take rocks that you see um, around Rossmore to, to use for this project. Um, just uh, keep this separate. So get um, just a small, you know, flat rock, um, and you're going to need some acrylic paints to decorate. You'll need some wire, about um, 22, 24 to 22 gauge water uh, wire, um, a pencil for twirling the wire, some scissors, and maybe some uh, wire cutters depending on the thickness of your wire. I was able to cut the wire with scissors, but you might need wire cutters depending on how hard it is to cut the wire and how sharp your scissors are. Um, just a note, I'm going to be using acrylic paints to paint the rock, but you can also use um, Sharpie or you can use crayons. It helps to heat the rock up in an oven or microwave for a few minutes and then um, before coloring with the crayons to help um, get the colors on there quickly. And just note if you're using the microwave and crayons uh, to decorate just be careful in handling the rock uh, because it will be hot. But a really easy way to decorate the rock is with acrylic paints. So I have six colors here and really, really easy to paint the rock. It's just like painting um, a canvas, really. You just apply the paint and you could blend two paint colors together by putting down one coat and then putting another color right above it so I'm doing purple right above it, and I'm just going to go over where those two colors meet to blend the two colors together at their meeting point. So you get kind of like an ombre between the blue and the purple. And then I'm going to do a maroon and blend maroon above the purple. Um, and then once this is dry, I'm just going to make this like a sunset scene. I thought this rock was pretty neat when I found it because it is um, like cut in half, so it'll rest standing upright on a on a desk or wherever you you know want to put it. So of course, most rocks are just going to lay flat like that. So. Acrylic paint doesn't take long at all to dry. This will just take about 10 minutes to dry. And then once the first layer is dry, 
You can go in and add a second layer of paint. You can just leave the rock as is, but if you do have Mod Podge at home, you can add a layer of Mod Podge on top of your dry paints just to um, help to preserve the paints for a little bit for longer. Um, but if you don't have that, um, you know, no worries, just use the acrylic paint um, just over time outside with the elements. Um, the paint will will fade. Um. So I'm finishing up. I did both sides here. Just did a fade between maroon, purple, and blue. Um, so at home, you're just going to wash and dry your brush. Make sure you get all the paint off so it doesn't get stuck on there. So just allow, allow that to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And to get the wire over your rock, um, it's really very simple. You're just going to cut about a um, two to three foot piece of wire. This wire here is 24 gauge, um, but this copper wire is a 22. And I think 22 is a little bit better, um, has a little more sturdiness. This is pretty thin and bendable, but it will still be uh, fine for the project. Um, so I'm just going to let this paint dry. And then I'll see you back here in a little bit and show you how to put the wire on the rock. I just took a little bit of a break, so I had to let this um, let this dry. So I did a little bit of a more design. I put a sunset on there and add a little bit of white for highlighting to give it a look of um, you know ripples in the the um, water and little clouds in the sky. So once you have painted on there a design that you like and it's dry, it's time to add the wire. <clears throat> so I cut about two or three feet of wire. You're just going to place the rock on top and in the center of that wire. You can make sure it's the center by meeting the two ends of the wire together and then making sure that they're the same length when you pull up. Then you're just going to um, get the wire around the rock as um, tightly as you can. <clears throat> and you want to make sure that it's a snug fit around the rock, otherwise the wire will slide off um, fairly easily. So just get it on there um, you know, as tight as you can. And then once you have the wire on there, as firmly as you can. You're just going to twist the two pieces of wire together until you have it at a height that you um, that you like before you um, coil the ends of the wire to hold the picture frame or to hold the, the picture. Okay, so I went up about <clears throat> about three inches. Um, then after you um, go up about three inches, you're going to curl the ends of the wire. So it helps to have a pencil or a pen to do this. Or you can use your finger or the end of the paintbrush if you don't have one. But most likely you have a pen or a pencil at home. And then you just get the end of each um, piece of wire and you just twirl it around the pen or the pencil to make a coil. And this is going to be what keeps your picture um, standing upright, holds it in place. And I'm just doing the other, the other wire the same as I did the first one, just co coiling it around the pencil by going around and around. And I'm making one a little bit taller 
than the other so that the pictures are a little staggered so they're not right on top of each other. So I have a little bit of slack in here so it's kind of sliding off the rock easily. So I'm just going to get my pliers and try to tighten it up a little bit by twisting, by pinching the, the wire at the base and just and just going to twist at the base and tighten it a bit. And the pliers um, help to get a firm grip on the wire a lot more than my fingers can. So that really tightened it up a lot and made it so that the wire is not sliding around um, like it was before. So um, that's a tip. Just if you have pliers, it'll really help to pinch at where the base of where the, um, the rock meets the, the wire and just give it a good few twists to really tighten it. So it looks like I tightened it a little bit too much and my wire actually broke. So I guess learn from my mistake and if you're working with a little bit thinner wire like the 24 gauge um, be careful not to twist too much or you can actually um, break the wire as I just did. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do that again. Just twist the two pieces of wire together to have about three inches. I'm going to coil both ends over the pencil making one a little bit higher than the other so the pictures are a little staggered. I'm going to twist it but being careful not to over twist with the pliers. Okay. Perfect. So there you go. So if that wire bothers you over your picture, you can just paint the wire to match the design behind it. Um, if not, and you're fine with it, then um, it's great. So um, I have one here that's laying flat and the one rock that I found that is cut in half perfectly to lay on the desk. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and learn from my mistakes. Don't over twist your wire. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy doing this at home. Um, before um, I sign off, I just want to share with you um, the, the Rossmore Rocks website. And this is um, um, very fun and... Um, let me share my screen right now so that you can see the Rossmore Rocks webpage. So you do, you do have to go to Facebook. Um, and then once you're there, you just type in that search box. You're going to go to Rossmore rocks with an exclamation mark after the search box and uh, right here Rossmore rocks and um, you can see here Diane Diane Moore um, she's the one who um, had the idea to start this in Rossmore after visiting her sister, she um, made a recent post just three hours ago of a St. Patrick's Day rock she saw on Tarmigan Drive. Um, it's very, very creative, whoever did that. Kudos. Awesome job. Um, you can see all of these rocks that people are finding um, throughout Rossmore. One that says, peace, never stop looking up, stars. Another St. Patrick's Day one. Oh, very creative. A little pot of gold. Hope, they bedazzled that one. Uh, 
a bunch of a lot of rocks whoa someone really was busy life is tough so are you wonderful message so i love the messages that people of of hope and just positivity that people are spreading and just the creativity and just the aesthetic beauty of of you know people decorating these rocks a cute little gnome holding a heart just really fun to to find um there's a lot of creativity um and uh great spirit here in Rossmore. So thank you, Diane Moore, for, for this and for others for sharing and for um, also creating your rocks. Um, I just wanted to share that because um, this is kind of on the same lines. I know I don't want you to take the rocks that you find throughout Rossmore that are, that are painted for this project, but just um, reminds me of that uh, project that we did last year. So thank you everyone for being part of Rossmore Rocks and I encourage you to go on that webpage on Facebook and to be a part of that. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope to see you next week. Bye.